Hello my friends. So I'm here to make this video to um, show you how to build the most, the best gaming slash workstation PC for the money you spend, where to get it, and basically the list of all the items for a very reasonable price. So perhaps what we're going to start off with is what this build entails. So you're going to see over here that it's $683 and some of the prices actually are uh, raised up than uh, the prices that you could get it for. So we're talking about between $640 and $680 that we can have an amazing PC that you might be able to actually even reflip. Why am I saying this? Because the comparable parts that I have on this list that you could get yourself and build yourself for about this price, you can uh, see on Amazon are worth this much. Uh, the case is uh, not necessarily better on this PC. And um, you see, we're talking about this guy is charging $1,599. This guy is charging $1,234. Uh, that's just some of the, uh, some of the items that I've seen on the list that could be done for a good price of 683. And maybe if you wanted to like uh, do a quick flip of, uh, of this PC for a little bit of profit, you could probably sell this for a thousand dollars, maybe put it up for 1100 on Craigslist and then, uh, get it for a thousand. I'm telling you this not based on that I sell PCs, but based on what I'm looking for from online and the kind of quality that you could do by getting custom parts off the shelf. So uh, this is a, I'm making this video list on March 8th of uh, 2019. So uh, I was looking at this all morning and I decided to make this video and really help out. Like if one person decides to take advantage of just some of the deals, I'll be really happy. And plus uh, I like to, uh, play around with computer parts. I've built many computers in the past year and I love good deals. So the first good deal that makes this PC possible for this price is this one. This is a micro center. Micro centers all are all over the United States and we're talking about a CPU, a six core CPU for half price. I've never seen such a low price of it. This same CPU, if you look at it on newegg.com, which is one of the computer sites, or amazon.com, is about 140 bucks. So 80 bucks a micro center right now. So uh, I'm here in New York, so we'll see if uh, possibly you could get this deal other places. I'm linking all these things uh, below, the, below the video. Uh, as a comprehensive list. So this is a good deal for a bang for the buck. Uh, Ryzen 6 core, uh, 12 thread, that's fantastic. Next, but the other benefit you get is when you have uh, the additional $30 discount on the motherboard when you combine it. So look at this. We have an $80 motherboard. We have an $80 CPU. So we're talking about 160 minus 30. So we're talking about 130 at 10% sales tax. So we got out, we're talking about a motherboard and CPU combo for 145. Oftentimes you just get the single motherboard by itself for that price. But here the uh, motherboard is already discounted $45 and then you knock off another 30 bucks. This is a freaking deal. So moving on to the next part, this is a really good deal too. This is a video card. Uh, it says save 30 bucks, but if you look online, this card sells for like $200 and higher. Why is this video card good? Because it's amazing ba money value for the money. So this RX 580, eight gigabyte of a video memory is about the equivalent of a GTX 1060. A GTX 1060 could be 250, $300, but for 170 bucks with eight gigabytes of VRAM, brand new here at the micro center, I think that's a fantastic deal. You put this together with um, this case. Look at this case. Okay. Um, my understanding it's 60 bucks. I don't know why the price is not showing up. Let me show you my uh, store, New York uh, 
flushing, let's say. $59.99. Okay. I've seen the same case on Amazon and York for $80 plus. Why is this case nice? It's because uh, number one is thermal take. Number two, it comes with all these, I think, RGB fans. So we're talking about beautiful blue RGB fans in the, in the back and, and in the front. So this is a nice case to build in. It has a power supply shroud and the price is fantastic. $59.99. Uh, terrific. So moving on to the next uh, part of the deal. This monitor... I've actually seen on Amazon for $390. So you could get this monitor brand new for, so it's $349 plus tax. So pretty much the same price as Amazon, but Amazon might charge you tax depending on where you are. Um, but for me in New York, it char does charge tax. So it would be $390 plus tax, but it's here it's $350 plus that. Why is this monitor good? And why do you want to get this one as opposed to many other ones? So this one has the 1440p resolution. It's 32 inches. You definitely don't want a 27 inch monitor anymore. You know, uh, all the monitors I use nowadays are 32 inch and 75 hertz. I have the HP Omen monitor uh, and I think I paid about the same price for it. But this is a higher refresh rate, uh, 144 hertz and it's FreeSync. The FreeSync tech is what uh, the AMD video cards, which I just showed you for 170 bucks, have. So on the monitor, you click, you press the settings on one of the buttons, and you select FreeSync. And inside the software, you put some FreeSync. Why is FreeSync beneficial? Is when you're uh, playing some of the games, or a lot of games, is that you have the frame times, depending on the scene it's rendering, you have the frames going up and down. But what the FreeSync does is that it makes the refresh rate of your monitor go up and down with the amount of frames it can produce. So let's say you're producing 100 frames a second, your monitor is going to synchronize with that 100 frames and you get that um, ideal high refresh rate. Also, the experience in Windows becomes more smooth uh, this way. So. That's a freaking good deal. Um, by the way, I'm not making any money off these, so I'm just got astounded by the great deals out there. So that's why I'm um, uh, just basically showing a like a full PC build from the beginning to the end with like the highest quality components and the biggest bang for the buck that you could get, which uh, other people probably won't show you. So. This keyboard is fantastic. It looks like a great RGB keyboard. You definitely want one of these light up ones. And the Cooler Master is one of the good brands. It, it looks pretty. It has like a uh, nice big keys um, for 30 bucks. I mean, you could, you, you could definitely pick out your own. But this is the stuff that I'm uh, picking out a micro center that you could just go and pick up today. Um, now, regards to... This build being cost effective, uh, I'm also part of the Newegg uh, email list. You just go on newegg.com and sign up to their free email list. And the pr the place where you could get the best RAM is uh, at Newegg. So at Newegg, the first kit of uh, 16 gigabyte memory, this one for 85 bucks, 3,000 megahertz is fantastic. So th these are Rip Jaws high quality kit. Uh, G Skill is one of those brands that's very high quality that uh, make memory, and this kit looks really nice. But you add another fifteen bucks to it, right? And you could get a kit. Um, you could get the kit that is light up RGB, and and the benefit of this one is that it's uh, my understanding it's Ryzen certified AMD edition. So RGB sync, it's a hundred bucks, and this might be the better bet because uh, when you build a PC, all this light up stuff, like the RGB case and the RGB RAM, um, it also adds to the resale value of the of the computer. So you're not getting the cheapest off the shelf kit. But why do I think this is also beneficial? Is that um, oftentimes RAM 
is a lot more expensive. The cheapest RGB RAM than this is about like 135, 145 bucks, and it goes up from there. So I'm actually just showing you the best deals, the banks for the buck that are available right now. So um, this is a really good thing. The Ryzen certified stuff is really good. So you have a better compatibility with it. Ryzen processors actually like the higher speed RAM. So the, the system runs a little bit better, but like most important, I guess, is the light up stuff on this one. So that's kind of cool. So you could save yourself 15 bucks and get the other one. Now in regards to the hard drive, here are two options I found which are fantastic. Okay, the first option is that you're trying to build the PC today. So for the PC, there are basically three different hard drive standards. You have NVMe, which is the fat, which are the fastest drives in the world. I personally use Samsung drives, but for for this price, you really can't get such um, size. So, like the Samsung drives that that I recently bought for one terabyte, I paid uh, probably over two hundred dollars. But those are probably the fastest drives in the world. But what I like about this one is that it's only fifty bucks for two hundred fifty six gigabytes to just get you in the door. Uh, and uh, what I like is that when you read the reviews, you have a really high review rating, the 78%. And uh, you could read up on um, the great uh, experience that people had with this. So this is on Amazon. And I think this is the best bang for the buck. But if you're building this PC for yourself especially, uh, and you're not trying to reflip it, you might want to pay a little bit more than double, uh, pay 120 115 plus tax, so like that's let's say 130. Uh, you get already get instead of 250 gigabytes, you get one terabyte. So you pay a little bit more than more than twice more for this drive, uh, and you're getting four times the amount of memory on it. So the benefit of the one terabyte is that. You buy this once and all the games you ever want to probably install are most likely going to fit on this. Unless like you're an avid gamer, you might want a two terabyte version of this. I don't know if they have uh, uh, it like cheaper or so the two terabyte version is 219. So you may want to go straight for the 115 bucks and just get the one terabyte and get like a crazy fast um, DLC. It says sale ends in two days. But, of course, there, there's probably going to be other sales in the future, so this price list is price for performance list. That, that's going to give you a, an amazing um, bang for the buck. So now, regarding power supplies, there are two options. There's one you could buy right in Micro Center for 50 bucks. the 650 watt 80 plus bronze certified. So... Why is 80 plus bronze better than uh, just in standard power supplies? So when you're buying pre-built PCs, when um, I've watched uh, plenty of reviews and I've opened up pre-built PCs myself, and what you will find is that inside the computer, they use some of the cheapest, uh, inefficient, Chinese made the power supply. They're probably all made in China. but when you have the 80 plus bronze, when you have this word 80 plus, there's bronze, there's silver, there's gold, there's uh, platinum, and the highest level is titanium. You're already getting into the realm of the more efficient power supplies that are, are usually of a higher quality. So some people like the modular power supplies, but because you have a shroud, Underneath there, it doesn't matter if there's a couple extra cables. There's a place to actually hide them inside the case and inside the computer case. So the, for this for 50 bucks, you might want to add to the list and pick it up there. You might also want to use this uh, their website, the Micro Center website, as a guide because if you click on View Map, you could actually map all the stuff out and find it. So oftentimes the CPUs they'll have in a computer case. And when you're uh, checking out, make sure that they apply the deal for the CPU motherboard combo, which is the, which is going to give you the best bang for the buck because um, you're getting the CPU for cheaper and you're getting the motherboard for cheaper. So together, it's uh, the most fantastic deals. I've I've never seen this. You know, if I was building a PC nowadays, I would definitely uh, take advantage of that. So I like that deal. 
or this one on Amazon for a slightly cheaper. This one says 80 plus white certified. So this is a little bit below the stand, the bronze standard, but it's already 80 plus. You want the 80 plus. What it means is that it's 80 plus efficiency. So there's the white, which is just 80 plus white. Uh, then there's the bronze, then there's the silver, gold, uh, platinum, and then titanium. So this is pretty good, 500 watts. So wattage-wise, probably the first one I showed you is the better deal, right in Micro Center. So just one-stop shop this thing. But this is the other deal, which you could uh, save yourself 10 bucks and uh, get it from Amazon. Uh, sometimes it's beneficial to get the stuff from Amazon, depending on the state you're living in. Um, because perhaps you might be able to save on the sales tax. So oftentimes that's 10%. So shopping online, shopping around might be the better deal for you. Uh, but other times if you're paying sales tax anyway, might as well just get the other one, other deal. So the power supply. So I gave you two options of hard drives, two options of power supplies. Now regarding speakers, these are the speakers that I use, uh, for a hundred bucks. These Bose speakers sound fantastic. They're only a hundred bucks. You, you, you might, this is a very high end luxury brand, I would say. And all their speakers are much more expensive than this. But for this hundred bucks, you don't need a subwoofer. They sound great, uh, great deep uh, sounds. Th these are the speakers that I personally love and use. And uh, I like the, the, that they don't take up extra space. Um, oftentimes speakers have this, uh, third speaker, which is the subwoofer. Uh, if you're living in an apartment, you have neighbors. This is, this fits on your desk. It's space saving. It's nice. This is the one I recommend over here. Uh, speakers. So you could also see it on Amazon. It's the same price and micro center Amazon. So both of them have it. I like this speaker set. It's fantastic. Now in regards to the windows, you brought, I personally recommend getting an original uh, Windows uh, disk. There's other people online. You could buy CD keys online. But I personally like these OEM builder keys. Why do I like them? Is you get the official uh, original equipment manufacturer key. And you get this. Um, if you can see over here. that There's a, there's a little sticker that's, that, that's grayed out over here. You could actually attach that to your PC. So putting this all together and putting this sticker, you have an original uh, Windows 10 license key that you could buy with the original DVD. All like, uh, it looks to me all for legit. Make sure that this is the, how the presentation looks like, by the way. You want to get one of these discs. Why is this beneficial to get Windows 10 Home? You could also get the Pro version. Professional. Th this is probably even better one. Get the Windows 10 Professional version. Uh, label with the with the label. It should look like the first one I was looking at, and the Windows 10 Pro key is usually a hundred dollars plus. So if you go on uh, some of these build build websites, like, let's say b b l d uh, dot com, or um, basically when they're building the PCs, they're uh, charging you one hundred fifty bucks for this DVD you could buy online for thirty five. So you're saving yourself an extra hundred bucks by getting the DVD on eBay from one of these, um, this one to home or pro, this might be the good one. Uh, so you're saving yourself another hundred bucks on the windows 10 license, which, uh, you could buy on eBay. So bra breaking down the, the build with using the slightly cheaper components. I got $683, but if you really think about it, see over here, I wrote 16 gigabytes RGB RAM. I was saying 150 bucks for the RGB RAM, but if you can knock, knock off another, uh, 50 bucks or, or more 60 bucks, even if you get the cheaper RAM, uh, we're talking about $620 for the, for the completed build, which when you look at the comparable PC on Amazon, um, is probably this one. This, this one is probably the closest one that you could see, uh, Ryzen 5, 1600 X. That's a slightly higher end SK SKU, 
of the processor, but you could get the speed with yours. Uh, what does it have? It has a two terabyte, seventy two hundred RPM drive, but those aren't really worth much. Two hundred forty gigabytes SSD. I'm not sure if it's an NVMe SSD, which is the benefit that you could do. So you could technically build yourself for twice cheaper, a better PC than uh, slightly better PC, which you're gonna build on your own. And uh, build guides they have available on uh, YouTube some of the build guides if you typed in youtube.com uh, you could type in how to build a PC how to build a PC and they'll they'll show you exactly how to do it you know here's how to build a PC step by step so there's nothing really to uh, nothing really to learn from he from here that you really need to uh, do it so basically for the same price that they're charging just for the computer in the computer case you can build this whole list <laughs> with the monitor with the better version of windows and have it fully like a better upgrade ability uh you're saving yourself money you're getting yourself really good value for the for, for the money this is a good gaming pc uh workstation pc and all the such so I don't know if you guys could see this amazing deal. That's why I made this video. I've been uh, thinking about it all morning um, because I build PCs all the time or I've built them for myself. I'm enth an enthusiast. I watch uh, people like uh, Linus Tech Tips. Tech Tips. This guy's good. Uh, Linus Tech Tips. There's Bitwit. There's also... Uh, Tech Yes City is good. Fantastic, uh, f fantastic reviews of um, of different tech parts. And who else is good? Uh, I would say just out of those three, you would have m enough data to really compile yourself uh, enough information on how to build build the PCs. And also, I think it's uh, there's also Paul's Hardware. That guy is also pretty good. So, see, how to build a PC system. I actually used one of his uh, build guides to build a mini ITX system, which was really helpful. And this was in uh, December of last year. And it was so easy to follow that I'm like, hey, why not? And this, this is really cool. This is why I like uh, building the PCs because you're getting the most value for money. Uh, yes, you could build, you could buy one of those... Uh, off the shelf boxes, Dell, HP makes them, and all that. But the components they're going to use are probably going to be the cheapest one. So, as I mentioned, the cheapest power supply, uh, the keyboard is probably not going to be as nice. The, the, the monitor doesn't come included, obviously. It's going to cost more than this. Uh, you're going to also miss out on the thing. One of the things I love about PC building is that it's fun to just get in there and uh, tinker around with it and put it all together yourself and um, just get, there's a sense of fulfillment. In the past, guys used to work on uh, the classic cars, their Corvettes, their Chevys and uh, put different parts in, like uh, get their hands dirty. So this is one of the things with the building of a gaming PC or just the building of a PC, uh, you're getting a lot of benefit. Also, having a good PC is an asset in this new digital economy. Just think about like if uh, you're working on it, if you're doing video production, there's um, a lot of things you need to get done that you want a nice, fast, snappy PC for that uh, allows you to get more done in less time more productively and of a higher value work you want to be able to deliver something in this new economy which uh, is switching over from uh, an old economy but what it is actually opening up is incredible new opportunities that we could use for making our lives better and making the lives of other people better so below this video are is this whole uh, list that I compiled 
and you could just click the links and uh, open them just thumb up this video I didn't make this um, channel at least originally to profit from it maybe in the future I will but my goal for this channel is to provide people uh, some amazing value and to teach what I love and to talk about the things that I do love and enjoy with others and benefit other people's lives and uh, it's like the, the idea is that you can't help others without helping yourself so for me I like the idea of uh, producing these videos and learning new tips and tricks and uh, just being an overall computer enthusiast all right my friends thumb it up uh, click share put it like on Facebook's Twitter's or whatever maybe this will be a helpful uh, value for money build guide or at least a build list with some really good deals hopefully that some of you guys could take advantage of put some comments on the list below maybe you guys could snap up some good deals and I'll be hoping to make more videos like this in the future I have a lot more interest this is why uh, I made this channel and I'll see you soon bye